Hello. Okay, I am just testing out whether the streaming works on YouTube. I have a microphone attached, I have music streaming and um, from Pretzel. So I'm just going to do a little five minute video to see if um, YouTube is happy with it and then maybe tomorrow I can start to stream again. Uh, there are so many things to figure out. Microphone levels and which track to save things on and how to set it up and your rate your file ratios and sizes and and then if I want to do it with uh, Twitch and Kick as well then there's every every one of those platforms has got different settings and uh, regu regulations and stuff so oh goodness I can't just no bind and just weave I have to figure out all this technical stuff so hopefully it will be worth it once I get this going um, certainly a huge learning curve and something a bit different for me. I'm just joining ends here. I use what's called a Russian join, so I don't ever use any knots. I thread a needle through the yarn um, about five times. Like so, and then I thread the needle and I'll pull this through like that. This can be trimmed off if I had scissors, but I don't seem to have scissors right now, so I'll just run it the way it is and and um, no, drop the needle now. And I'll uh, fix it later. I use about three arm lengths of yarn when I do this. Um, so I don't have to be changing the thread so many times and I use what's called an accordion fold so I folded it back on itself a couple of times and then I like to use needles that have got a big hole in them a big eye so that I can fit several thicknesses of yarn through there we go and for this I'm using the finish 2 plus 2 so I have two I start with two stitches on the needle plus the new thread that's going to happen and I pick up an old stitch from the a new stitch and an old stitch from the previous row. I then pick up two stitches behind the thumb. I turn the needle and I pull it through the yarns that are on my thumb. And this creates a new stitch. So now I have three stitches on the needle, and I'm picking up that old one the new one and the old one and then I want to use the first stitch that's on my thumb so I'm leaving two on my thumb and one more from the back and then I pull the thread through So I have 
leave two on my thumb plus the new thread coming over pick those up pick that one up pick the one that's fallen off my thumb from before turn it around and come back through I think that people struggle with null binding when they first start out is because they are using a totally different set of hand movements than what you normally do. And so what you, I think the best thing to do is just to start with a null binding chain and make it about 200 stitches long. Just keep making it and adding more thread and just make the chain longer and longer and longer until this hand motion becomes second nature so that you've developed um, muscle memory in your hands that making the movement and then it becomes really easy to do because if you if you did a, a, a chain of 10 stitches and you look at it it's going to look like rubbish no matter what you do because you've never done it before and 10 stitches is not really enough to even start to begin any kind of a chain any kind of a chain properly and you just you'll just be discouraged if you look at it so just keep making a great big long chain until it starts to look like a chain. And I think it takes about 200 stitches. And you can use that yarn later. You can use it for a strap. You can coil it into a basket and sew it together, or you can just throw it away. It's not a waste of time. It's just getting your hands used to doing the, the picking up and the turning around and twisting that's, that's required to do the null binding. So don't give up, just keep going.